Hello, everybody. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodemont, and over there we have John Lindowski. How are you doing, John? Hey, pretty good. I'm pretty tired myself, be it that it's 11.06 at night. <laughs> right. And we were, like, bantering back and forth whether or not we uh, we promised you guys we'd do a live in the system. So that is not being done until um, John is feeling 100%. And feeling good enough uh, to grace me with his presence, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> um, you know, and 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 in sense be around my family and and stuff like that because obviously I work for we do this from my home, and he doesn't want to give whatever he's got to my family. So right. Um, I would also like to uh, thank everybody for watching our videos over the last couple of days. I've seen our numbers going up. Thank you so much. It's been a really good moment for us. I know that we've been struggling to get views ever since COVID, and we were on a really high momentum before that, um, getting a thousand views a game, and now we're not getting anywhere close to that. So, um, you know, uh, it, it, it is really hurting the business. Uh, one thing before I want to get into today's video, I, our show is brought to you by the wonderful, wonderful folks at Hockey Locker. 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. Um, just before I wanted to get into this, Eric Stahl has signed a uh, professional co trial contract with the Iowa Wild um, and, and helped to prepare him for the 2022 Beijing Olympics. Um, that's just a little NHL news for you. Um, also, uh, please go to NHL.com and vote for your uh, last men men last men in ballot. The uh, the uh, All Star Game is February fifth, um, and will be on ABC. Um, we are really hoping that me and John can be live during this stuff. Uh, we were, these are some fun things to, to do. Um, uh, our last man, the last man in for the Atlantic edition. So only one guy's going to make it. Only one. Uh, Ch Charlie McAvoy, Tage Thompson, Lucas Raymond, Alexander Barkov, Tyler Toffoli, Brady Kajak, Steven Stamkos, and John Tavares for the Atlantic division. Um, each division will get one additional player. Um, Andre Svechnikov, Jacob Voracek, Jasper Brat, um, Matthew Barzo, Mika Zabedajad, Cam Atkinson, Jake Gensel, and Evgeny Kuznetsov for the Metropolitan. For the Central, Phil Kessel, Seth Jones, Nemzim Kadri, Jason Robinson, Ryan Hartman, Roman Yossi, um, Robert Thomas and Mark Shifley. I would say that if you had to choose, it would probably be between Jones, Kadri, Yossi, and Shifley. Um, right. The rest, um, I couldn't see winning. Uh, Kessel, he can't even make the Kessel run anymore. He's getting old. No, no, no knock on his talent. He's just lost a step somewhere. Right. Um, it's just an observation. Take it as you will. It's my opinion. You don't like it? Give me yours. Um, uh, for the Pacific Division, we have Troy Terry, who's been playing very well. Um, Matthew Kachuk, who's been playing very well. Darnell Nurse, who's been playing very well. Uh, Drew Doughty, Logan Couture, uh, Mark Giordano, JT Miller, and Jonathan Marcheseau. So no goalies in any of this. Right. Um, in other news, also, uh, as you guys all saw on our page earlier today, if you did not see, UC Soros made the all-star team with, with being just straight up voted in. Um, the uh, other part I wanted to add to this, UC Soros, uh, before I get into the uh, Buffalo Sabres and the uh, Preds game, uh, UC Saros has a 0-2-1 and record going into tonight against the Sabres, has never really had much luck right. against them. The other part, and this is just the other part I look at, okay? Okay. And that is 
two days ago, what'd they have to do? They played the Avalanche. What can that do to your team when you have to win that game? And you it, do it, yeah, even in overtime, but you do it. Right. It, it, you run out of gas. You could come out the next game flat. It happens to the best teams. It does. And and when those games you come out flat, the next game you come out back to where you were. You right. Don't, you don't want back-to-back flat games. But I would definitely suggest that they rest. Their bodies looked exhausted. Yeah, they did. I mean, they hit the hell out of the Sabres. 45 hits in this game just for the Preds. Right. I'm a little sloppy with the puck. Mental mistakes just probably from being tanked. Uh, 16 turnovers. And, and this Buffalo Sabres team, look, they may not be – they may be in a rebuild still, um, but they still have to go out and prove every day that these players got to go out and prove every day they deserve a spot on the roster. Right. You know, so don't sleep on on even Arizona at this point. If you have to play a great team the night before and then you go and and, and play somebody like Buffalo or or, or something, you know, you know, that's rebuilding. They're going to want to jump all over you right away. Right. Because they know you're tired. And that's exactly what they did. Um. The Granado is a very good hockey mind. He knows exactly what to do. He is the Sabres coach. Um, as I said, I am a Sabres fan still. Uh, the Preds have my heart, but Sabres, I'm still a fan. So I'm not going to – I I just don't have that quit button in me. Podcasts, life, any team, I don't quit on them. If you're my, right. you're my team, no matter what. I'm still sitting here cheering for the Admirals. We're not having the greatest of years. Um, I contribute that to uh, a slowdown on uh, prospects and, and a little bit of inconsistency and um, depth issues and uh, uh, draft turnaround also has a big part to play in that as well. Right. Uh, so I'm going to take that all into consideration, but let's get back into this game. Um, scoring in the first period was Mike Jankowski with an assist from Mike Pissett, his seventh of the season. Jankowski's first goal of the year. Um, then scoring in the second season on or second season in the second period, second season, <laughs> uh, second period was Matt Duchesne, his 17th of the season with an uh assist from Johansson, his 20th, and Yossi, his 26th. So there's that streak again that me and John talked about the other day about Johansson having that point streak against the Sabres and Duchesne having a point streak against the Sabres. Yeah. Continues. Um, uh, then scoring in the second was Jeff Skinner, his 12th of the season with assist from Cousins, his eighth, and Arposo, his 15th. That was scored on the power play. Cousins has 17 goals career-wise in against Nashville. Uh, he has always had our number. Yeah. And then in the third period, uh, Jeff Skinner scores his 13th with an assist from Alex Tuck, his third assist of the season, um, in just three game, uh, four points in three games, or four points in right. three games for him. Uh, the former Rockford Ice Hog and Chicago Blackhawk. Uh, ices the game for the uh, Sabres with his eighth goal of the season with an assist from Robert Hag, his fifth, and Arposo, his 16th. Uh, that was an empty net goal. In net four, Buffalo was Aaron Dell, uh, stopping 29 of 30 with a .967 save percentage. Um, he also had two penalty minutes. <laughs> Mm-hmm. That was an interesting in- incident. It was. Um, you know, uh, that's that's just uh, an interesting situation that that was. Um, and that for the uh, Preds was UC Saro stopping 17 of 20 with a point eight five zero. Um, I would have gave Saros the night off if you I was me, but you know that was just me. 
Um, your referee was Tom Chemelinski and Ian Walsh. Your linesman was Bevan Mills and Vaughn Rohde. Head coach for Buffalo is Don Granado. Uh, assist- head coach for Nashville is John Hines. Scratches for Buffalo was Yuko Pekka, Luka L- Lukanen. Lukanen. Um, Will Butcher and Malcolm Subban, both Lukanen, uh, Pekka Lukanen and uh, Subban are injured. Okay. Um, Yakov Trenin remains in COVID protocol. Ben Harper was the healthy stretch. Borough being day to day with an injury. Right. So we're so glad to hear that it's not as serious as some people thought. Right. For Borough. Um, the Saros now moves to three and uh, was it oh three and one against the Sabres. Um, some teams just got your number, and that's how it is. Right. Oh, by the fact, Saros' first game in the, a- in the NHL was against the Sabres. So um, that's one of those things. Um, you know, uh, this team, they have a good mindset. They have a good uh, locker room. Absolutely. Um, um, as the old cliche, cliche goes, Mama said there are going to be nights like this. Um, right. This was just not ours. Right. It was Buffalo's night. Buffalo was on a six game losing streak. We're on a five game win streak. One's got to give. Right. You know, Buffalo eventually was going to win one and we were eventually going to lose one. Yeah. As I put in our, our pre meeting, pre meet, pre podcast meeting chat. <laughs> right. You know, because I was having tech issues over the years. So I think them authors being so patient for me to fix them, but uh, some days it can be a little hard. Um, also, um, I want to give a little bit of kudos out to some specific stuff going on uh, throughout uh, the NHL. Uh, like I said about Eric Stahl, uh, Kaprizov will be returning for the Wild. Um, uh, the uh, Blue Jackets uh, blank Carolina. That's actually a surprise there. Yeah. Um, uh, 13 NHL prospects will be on the U.S. Olympic roster. Um, none that are the Preds that I am aware of. Um, David Krejci and Mikel Forlake will be leading the Czech team. So that's an interesting concept there, too. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, NHL scouts weren't looking at the Olympics going, here's a good opportunity, some of the best in the world. Right to see what we could sign, what we could get, maybe get a chance at, um, you know, uh, maybe I don't have to trade for somebody. Maybe I could pick up a guy like Krejci or or Froelich, you know, to add a piece, you know, um, some free agents um, that are overseas, uh, you know, playing. So there's there's some of that going. Uh, kudos to uh, Matt Murray getting his first win after having a rough go of things to start the season. Um, I know that it is very difficult. Um, the ECHL All Star Game is this Monday on NHL Network or on Martin Luther King Day on NHL Network. Um, Um, so, uh, given that, I, I, I just wanted to give, uh, some, uh, quick little, uh, antidotes for that one a little bit, uh, you know, cause, uh, Monday, all right, here we go. So Monday at, At four o'clock, you have the 2022 All-American Prospects game um, for the day there. And then um, at 7.30, you have the ECHL All-Star game. Um, 
they are really cramming stuff in there. Yeah. Um, I'm looking around here. I do not see a skills competition for them, but that doesn't mean it won't be on like YouTube or Flow Hockey or something. Right. Um, uh, so there's all that for you as well, as well as the fact that uh, on uh, Monday, you could catch on the fly pretty much all day that day, as well as uh, two games on NHL Network, uh, the Leafs and uh, Blues, and the Kana... Oh, sorry. Yeah, these are replays. <laughs> There's going to be uh, replay games. All day that day, and then we're gonna have the uh, prospect games from that that uh, sequence. Um, I will definitely be watching that prospect game, um, taking notes for me and John, as John, um, I believe, has YouTube TV, and they do not carry NHL. Now. No, they don't, unfortunately. And neither does uh, uh, AT and T or direct TV. So <laughs> the only TV carrier that carries them is Spectrum. Yeah. So uh, I will be taking notes for us on that. Um, as the draft comes up, uh, we will also be watching the trade deadline as well. Um, I'm pretty much going to have to have Make sure me and John stay a little bit healthier around that time in February so that uh, we don't end up having to do uh, Zoom meetings during the trade deadline. We can actually give you guys live up-to-date right. um, video content. Um, you know, that's the, the trade deadline so hectic as it is. Um, the trade deadline, I don't even remember the exact date I'm just trying to give you guys dates to know here. Um, so uh, the uh, critical dates for the NHL 2021-22 season, um, the uh, trade deadline will be March 30, March 21st. Um, that day, Let's go take a look here. Uh, the Preds and Ducks play, but everybody else is off. And they are at the Ducks. So it's going to be a late game. Fun. Um, unfortunately for us as well, uh, the Stanley Cup playoffs will begin May 2nd. Um, the uh, last possible day for the Stanley Cup is June 30th. Uh, first round, first day of the first round happens to be John's anniversary to his wife mm. in the day after my birthday. Mm. Um, and then uh, the uh, eighth is uh, the second round. Um, you should be seeing a little more of us on that day. Um, on, on the seventh, if you don't see us, you're just going to see a graphic from us. Um, the uh, then on the thirteenth, uh, RFA and UFA uh, uh, signing begins, so free agency begins that day as well. Yep. Um, so the 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 critical theories here is um, that we need to make sure that. Uh, well, we stay healthy here a little bit. We've got to do a little better job for ourselves, unfortunately. 
Yeah. Uh, me and him have been under the weather. I am battling uh, middle age fatigue, as I call it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have uh, dust allergies and I've been really, really busy the last like three weeks. I'm not sleeping well. So there's a little insider for you guys on me. If I don't seem as enthusiastic or as happy or as energetic as normal, it's probably because I'm tired. It's not because I'm mad or frustrated or hate the podcast. I, I want to tell you guys how I truly feel sometimes. And, uh, you know, um, you guys are gracious enough to let us into your home. Uh, yep. It's good enough to, to let us, it, we should tell you how we feel, you know. Um, so um, I'm going to let you all know that starting in February, uh, we're going to do a complete strip down um, of how we do things. And we're just gonna tell you as it is. And 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 straight across the board, our opinion, and our opinion may not be fact. Our opinion may not be, you know, what's exactly a hundred percent happening. Right. But it's our opinion and it's what we think is happening. So um that's gonna be starting in February. Um, we're going back to a little bit of the old one. We're still doing no swearing and no smoking on the show. So don't, we're not there yet. <laughs> mm-hmm. We're not there yet. But we want, we want to keep it a little clean so that you guys can enjoy and watch with the kids and stuff so that they can learn about hockey and stuff. Right. Um, so um, at, during the summer this year, I'm going to be working on a Hockey 101 video. I'm teaching you about everything about hockey. Well, me and John can pretty much crack that video out in about an hour. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, so uh, we will be having some fun this summer. Um, if you guys have any graphic ideas for your for uh, our system's logos, please feel free to inbox us. Um, we will we will uh, take anything that we think we can do into consideration. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker. Uh, please contact uh, their uh, uh, or what? Yeah. Just go to the store, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. If you're in the Milwaukee area, please go to the store. Check out it. Great, great selection of all kinds of stuff. They have new and old jerseys, new and old shirts, new and old stuff all over the all over the store. It's a great store, and Milos has gives great customer service. Thank you guys for watching, and have a wonderful weekend. If uh, you don't watch between now and then. <laughs>